Hi everybody, it's Jamie at PMR. This is a tutorial type video. I've had a few requests if I would show how to remove a level wind. This is a 6500 Abu Chrome rocket and uh, as I say the requests are that uh, I make a video showing how to remove the level wind and replace with a level wind that has a bearing in it, a PMR bespoke custom upgrade. Here you have it. Here is the aforementioned chrome rocket. Um, it's that new that I have only just got it out of its box and I haven't even put the uh, marine grade stainless steel 316 quick release PMR bespoke custom crown screws in it. I'm actually going to have to use a screwdriver. So, take your your reel, like so. It pretty much all comes about from this side, nothing at all on the handle side. So, first thing to do is remove all three of the side plate screws then remove the side plate like so if I can zoom in a little bit now. Right. Now, the lever wind itself is held in position by this plate. And this plate slides off like so. But, although you can then go to remove the lever wind, it won't quite remove all the way because most of the time, and I'll probably be lucky this time, no I'm not, um, the worm gear won't release and the reason being is there's a little pawl in here and you don't always have to undo this completely and take the pawl out, normally you can undo it two or three turns like that and then it will loosen the worm gear enough so that you can then remove it. In this instance I will actually take this all the way out and let's see if I can just uh, knock the pawl out so you can see what I'm talking about. There you go. Because this little bit here he sits in the grooves and that's how it goes up and down. Now having removed the level wind and by the way um, what happens is uh, this little plastic grommet has been removed and uh, it's been replaced with a bearing, it's been drilled out and replaced with the bearing. The bearing doesn't just sit straight in before anybody runs down the shop and thinks I will just go and buy one of these and uh, take this piece out. Uh, the bearing doesn't fit in there, it has to be fettled with and made to fit. Now there's the new level wind that's going to go in. There's the bearing. I've undone this a little bit but not taken it all the way off and the way I would do it I would take the level wind which is nearly complete just has the, the, the worm gear the drive worm gear is the only bit that's out and at an angle I will put it push it through the hole like so then I will take the worm gear push the worm gear in and you'll get resistance where it meets the pawl. But because I've loosened 
the cap that holds the pool in place. I should be able to wiggle it and it will eventually go all the way in. Now by doing so you've got to remember there's a bearing in here now and that will push the bearing out if you're not careful. So be careful not to lose the bearing. This bearing doesn't like me. There we go. Now you're in the position where you're going to put the two metal pieces that stick out top and bottom into the keyway or the keyway hole here and at the same time there is a small groove here the top of the line guide sits into that hole and then you're almost there put a little bit of pressure on the back where the cog is give it a little wiggle and eventually with a bit of luck you will find the slot there you go and you're in once you're in place take the locking bar push him in the bottom slide him up make sure clips in and there is your locking plate in place having got your locking plate in place check and make sure that there's no resistance when it gets to either side there you go and the new bearing lever wind is now in place. The only thing left to do is take the end cap or the end plate, push him back on. When you push him back on, if it doesn't line up completely with the lever wind, turn the handle just a little bit and it will turn the bits inside so that eventually it does line up with the handle screws back in now not quite finished turn the handle so that the level wind comes to one side or the other because the last but not least you have to tighten up there you go the cap that keeps the pawl in place and the reason you do that last is because you want to make sure everything's in place everything is moving everything is running before tightening that up now I have A bearing version all working. There you go. I'm Jamie, thank you for watching PMR Pimp My Reel. We'll see you next time. Please don't forget to hit the like button and please also don't forget to share the love and hit the uh, share button. And if you want to know what's going on in the PMR Universe and the PMR Universe website, please subscribe.